Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I'm here for ThermoWeb on the ThermoWeb YouTube channel today. And I have a couple of cards that I use the ThermoWeb mixed media sheets to create. So the mixed media sheets are pretty amazing. They have a fabric-like feel to them. They can be stamped, they can be stitched, they can be painted. So I decided to create some specialty backgrounds using both stamping and stitching. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create those backgrounds and then pull a couple of cards cards together. So the first thing I want to show you is that the mixed media sheets actually can be cut in your trimmer just like paper and they cut really beautifully. So I'm cutting an eight and a half by 11 piece in half and then I'm going to use some of the ThermoWeb Gina K Designs dies to die cut some pieces of it. They also die cut really beautifully. I'm using the heavyweight mixed media today because I wanted it to really look like a piece of fabric on my card. So I've grabbed the Wen and Bloom stamp set from Gina K Designs for ThermWeb and I'm using one of the background flowers or the the full layer of the flower just to create some floral images on these mixed media sheets and I'm just using dye ink to stamp on it the one thing that I will recommend is you either heat set that or let it dry for a good amount of time because it takes a little bit longer to dry on the mixed media sheet than it would on typical paper so I am creating this sort of very organic looking background to create kind of my own pattern paper here. So once I have that yellow stamped down, I'm going to take one of the smaller flowers and stamp it with the sweet mango. The ink that I'm using is also Gina K for ThermoWeb, and I really love the way the colors really complement each other and work together. And the nice thing about stamping on the mixed media sheet is that it creates a very soft look. So you can see that it's uh, slightly opaque, but it is slightly translucent as well and that just creates with the ink a very soft soft look to it which I really really like and is different than just stamping on traditional white cardstock. Now the other thing like I mentioned is that these can be sewn through as well. You can hand stitch. I decided to take out my sewing machine and just do a basic stitched border. Now you'll notice that the stitched lines from the die cutting are also there as well. So it embosses beautifully too. I've cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of white cardstock in half and I'm scoring it in half again. And now I'm using the ThermoWeb's Memory Runner XL to adhere both the mixed media sheet and some cardstock together. I'm using the Gina K Designs for ThermoWeb Gingham Ribbon to tie a bow around my whole card panel there. And I'm just gonna fuss with it so that I have both the tails underneath, but just, it takes a minute for me. Basically what I do is I tie the bow by making two loops and wrapping it around, and then I just fuss with it until I get every piece where I want it. Okay, then I'm gonna adhere it to the card base. Next, I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Extreme Black, and I'm sorry that my head gets in the way, but I really wanted to make sure I got over top, got it straight, and also pressed down hard enough to make sure that it was a nice dark impression and also very clear. So I used all three sentiments from the Wear Flowers Bloom stamp set, and I definitely could have done that stamping before I put all the pieces together. I just didn't know where the bows were going to be and things like that. So it would probably be easier to do the stamping ahead of time, but it worked out fine. Next, I'm gonna use some mixed media liquid adhesive to adhere a few flat sequins or confetti sequins down to both the flower centers and then on the other cards in the open areas. And that completes my three cards using the mixed media sheets. So I hope you'll see that you can use these mixed media sheets to create your own specialty paper where you can have whatever designs that you love on them. You can add stitching, painting, embossing, die cutting, whatever techniques you really love. Instead of buying those really expensive specialty papers, you can create your own. If you're interested in the supplies that I use, they will all be linked down below. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.